Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Happy Women's All Day. Uh, I know today is on Wednesday and I'm doing this video. I don't know when it's going to be or live on my channel, but I just wanted to talk about uh, this video, especially on this very important day uh, about Women's Day. And also I wanted to talk about this particular topic that is so close to my heart and that is women's right. And I'll be doing this video comparing my own country, Kenya, and also comparing or trying to compare my experience or what I have learned um, in the country that I live right now, which is Turkey or Turkey. Now, I know that this topic is so sensitive to most of you or most of us and uh we should not avoid it. We should actually talk about it because I'm a woman and I like talking stuff, especially to my ladies. And I know some of you will disagree or some of you will agree with me, which I understand. And I want to actually give you a disclaimer before I continue that these are all my own opinions based on my experiences and also based on my research. If you have other alternative opinions, you are right to actually uh, comment without insulting, without actually discriminating, without being so rude. And also, I'll be so glad to read some of your comments concerning the same, same topic. Otherwise, let's dive into the video and welcome to my channel if you're new. Okay, my name is Phoebe. I'm Kenyan living here, married here in Turkey. Okay, so during my interaction with my viewers, some of you, you always ask me a question. And among the questions that most of you have asked me concerning this week, uh, the International Women's Day. Uh, the week has been so good and also so busy for me, but I managed to get time and that's why I'm doing this video. Some of you ask, uh, like, how do women, uh, like, how do people treat women in Turkey or in Turkey? And um, I have to actually honestly say that this is a personal, uh, like, being treated um, differently or it depends on the person that you are and also you are living with. And also there are so many things that are going on that can actually make someone to treat you either well or bad or stuff like that. But let's talk about just generally women in Turkey and also in Kenya. Women here in Turkey, I found it so interesting that um, Turkish women are good, I have to say. Just the same like women in Kenya, most of us, we are very, very good. And also we tend to actually want the best for our families. The same thing that happens uh, here in Turkey. Most of them, they are hardworking, they are good mothers, they are good wives. And all those good qualities of a woman, you'll find them in Turkish women. However... As much as we are good as women, I find it so, so, so devastating and also uh, I find it so irritating to actually, actually speak about this because I know most of you will say, um, if you have been following me, you will say you never tell us the bad side of Turkish people or the bad side of things that are happening. Yes, stuff are happening here in Turkey, especially when it comes to women. I find some similarities between women, how they are treated here in Turkey and also in Kenya, which leads to my first point, which is actually domestic violence. In Turkey, I found it so that uh, it, it's so bad uh, to an extent that you'll find that each and every time, each and every, maybe each and every week I see, maybe on a television or maybe when I'm just reading and also when I'm just going around, someone has done this to a woman, a husband has done this to a, a, a wife, a boyfriend has done this and this, and these stories are so devastating. The same thing in Kenya, we always hear on social media, on television that a husband has done this, a husband has done this to a wife, this has done this and happened to a woman. And these stories are actually heartbreaking to see that even in the 21st century, women are still undergoing uh, domestic violence. And it is a sad thing because all these countries, they are developed countries, but 
women are being actually uh, treated badly. And I'm not generalizing everybody in Turkey or in Kenya, but I have seen majority of the same similarity, the same pro problem women are facing here. There are the same problem that I have seen or I have been in Kenya. Like I was raised in Kenya, born in Kenya, and I have seen these stories coming up. I was once a victim of a uh, um, domestic violence and I can tell you these things whenever I see maybe whenever I'm just in my house and then I hear some noise uh, maybe a husband fighting a wife my heart just breaks up like I, I just want to defend that woman you know and it is so so bad okay because listening to even the some side sometimes you see a woman maybe a husband has beaten her a husband has killed her and if you follow up with the reason why they did this, you'll find that there are just these small, small things in the house, especially when money is concerned or when money is something that has taken root in that family. So it is something that we need to talk about. And I just need your opinion, your honest opinion. Even though the government is actually has done a lot in terms of actually regulating and also fighting for women's rights, both in Turkey and in Kenya. But these things are still happening. And the bad thing is that some of the people that are doing this thing, uh, maybe women facing discrimination, maybe uh, or being uh, violated, uh, domestic violence, rising up, you find that these are our own people. Like the person who is doing this thing to a woman is someone who knows that woman. And another point that I have to add is number two, which is actually discrimination in terms of work. Uh, like you find that women are actually being paid lowly, like they are paid low compared to men. And uh, most women, you you will find them, they are working this low are like low paying jobs in terms of work and most men will actually want to have good jobs like want to acquire or most of them they are in big or they are high in highly and this is just an inequality in both countries i have seen a lot of women who are here in turkey they are actually being paid lowly even uh, um not uh, like not decent amount of money but uh, also these things have happened in, in Kenya, in my own country where I come from. We have seen women working just these small works and women going through because they have kids, they have family. They, maybe some of them, they are single mothers. Uh, some of them, they, they have families who are depending on them. And if they don't work, who will provide for them? Okay, so this thing is still a problem both in, can, uh, in Kenya and also in Turkey. Even though I have to mention that the government of Turkey, I have seen a lot of uh, emerging, like uh, people emerging or people, groups coming, even non-governmental coming together to defend the uh, rights for women. The same thing has happened in Kenya. A lot of women are coming up and also non-governmental uh, organization just trying to protect the child, uh, the girl child at a high level. Now, another facing challenge that I have seen in most commonly in Turkey and also in Kenya is in terms of education. I have seen uh, a lot of uh, girls who have been like just neglected, like people don't want them to advance in terms of education. And these things is happening even in Kenya, whereby we have this uh, traditional uh, thing whereby maybe for instance, if a girl gets pregnant when she is young, she might be forced to do actually uh, to, to, to get married to an older person that the girl doesn't ha love. And this thing is also happening here in, in, in Turkey. Uh, I have seen arranged marriage where marriages and I'm not trying that I'm not trying to say that this is a normal thing here in Turkey or in Kenya, but in some parts or in some areas of the countries, you'll find that these things are happening. Little girls, young girls who are actually uh, getting married to older, older people, not because of their choice, but because they have been forced by parents. I have also seen uh, actually girls who have been rejected by their parents because they got pregnant or because they got involved with a certain boy that the family doesn't like and the family just disowns the girl, the, the girl because simply because she made her choice to love a certain person so girls they are actually uh, 
undergoing discrimination in both sides, if I have to say, and it is something that needs to be stopped. Women should be given the rights to actually to choose and also the right to educate themselves or, or also the right to have good education when it comes to actually studying and also when it comes to uh like work i think women should actually have the right to actually have good salary good work and also don't just dis discriminate because oh she is a woman she doesn't have any say she doesn't know much you know that that feeling as a woman i feel like that is a bad feeling like when you want to speak maybe when you want to say something and someone comes up oh you are just a woman your work is just in the kitchen your work is just with the kids you don't know anything you don't know the world that thing is so, so, so bad. That's why I actually uh, wanted to make this video to emphasize the need of gender equality when it comes to work, when it comes to education, and also these things, men who are actually violating women should stop, should be arrested, and also the government should come with strategies that are highly uh, protecting a child like a girl child, okay? Now, something else to note is that even when we are speaking about these other things, it is also important to note that I have seen a lot of, um, uh, not a lot of, I have seen a lot of misrepresentation when it comes to politics. You'll find that more men are into politics. Same thing that is happening in Kenya. More men are in, into politics and there are few women who are actually in the role of politics or in the role of leadership just simply because they are women uh, people tend to believe that women cannot lead the country women cannot lead a particular uh, nation which is something that is irritating and i have to emphasize that even though the the, the, the country both countries allow the women to vote allow the women to be in parliament to lead but you'll find that there is still that gap in terms of leadership and also in terms of politics Okay, another thing that has highly affected women also here in Turkey and also in Kenya that I have not is actually the traditional and cultural and also religious differences or uh, stuff. You'll find that maybe when it is a girl who want to get married or who want to actually get to, mar to marry to a certain person, maybe let's say for instance a girl who is a Turkish who is a Muslim and falls in love with a man who is not a Muslim, you'll find that the family won't allow it and it can be a very big thing and also they can actually get they, they can actually get disowned by the family so it has actually uh, made many young girls commit suicide because who want to uh, live in the world whereby uh, they are feeling like they are rejected they are abandoned by their families now when it comes to Kenya I have seen uh, in some parts not all of them uh, actually girls being mutilated like the thing of girls being circumcised that is something that has led a lot of things and traditional maybe in the old days uh we we saw that there was a high number of people actually or, or girls actually are uh, running away from their homes uh because of that thing and it is so frustrating as a woman to see some that in some extent these things are still happening and also in kenya i have seen young very very young girls who have never gone to school or maybe who lack school fees who go through a lot of hardship being or being forced by their parents or their families to get married to uh, older people or older men just to provide for the family something that is not of the girl's choice which is something so bad because i believe when you want to love someone they must give you a choice whether you want to love that person or you don't want to love that person another thing that when uh, actually affects a girl child when it comes to kenya also is the things that women are facing maybe let's say when it comes to menstrual circles like the periods and nobody wants to actually hear or nobody wants to take uh, care of them like let's say those people who cannot provide for them. It can be very, very challenging to a younger girl and that thing can lead to stigmatization, which is so bad because who want to be where people feel like this is not a normal thing and nobody is helping out. So the girl will feel isolated, the girl will feel so bad and they might have go or undergo depression which can lead to suicidal uh, stuff and just like that we lost a, a 
person. So it is very, very important to emphasize on the need of equality when it comes to a child girl or ch girl child, okay? Now, when it comes to uh, female genital mutilation uh, in Kenya, you'll find that this uh, thing is highly done in Kenya more than in Turkey. In Turkey, I have not seen um, a lot, maybe, <laughs> I don't know. But uh, this thing I have seen in Kenya because it is where I was born. So this thing is actually, even in present days, it can actually trigger or make girls to, uh, to actually fear for themselves. And I'm not saying that it happens to everybody and not everyone is doing these things in Kenya, but it happens. Now, when it comes to my conclusion about the subject is that, do we still have hope? Like if you ask me, do we still have hope? Yes, we have hope because uh, both countries, Turkey and Kenya, they are progressing in terms of gender equality. Okay, and uh, there are so many things that are going on, like people supporting uh, uh, women, uh, women supporting themselves, women going uh, into entrepreneurship, women just supporting each other and uplifting each other, more organizations, non-governmental, uh, helping out actually to make sure that they, uh, they, the woman in the society feel equal or feel welcomed. Okay, now when it comes to uh, actually... Uh, both countries, like in Turkey and in Kenya, we find that there are also similarities and also the differences. And also these similarities and differences, they vary between, um, depending on the age, depending on the uh, societal um, structure, and also depending on the societal uh, status, uh, and also depending on the uh, education level, like I said, the background and also um, individuals, like it doesn't happen to each and everybody, but there is so need, like there is so much to talk about when it comes to women rights. We need to enforce, we need to educate our girls to actually know that what is good for them and what's not good for them. The government should actually, both governments should actually support a girl child and also try as much as possible to make sure that those who are actually discriminating girls or women, those who are actually taking advantage of young girls should be held in custody. So I don't know about your thoughts. If you're liking my content and you want to hear me talk more, please do me one favor, like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel and let's keep on educating each other otherwise if you have enjoyed this video or if you have any questions regarding the same topic don't hesitate to actually comment or like or share or actually just talk i want to hear from you about the same thing in other words i want to say goodbye and